Okay, so we're back into Thief, and we're going to be playing it for a little while, and we're going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on the game to kind of close up, and just to get a little bit further to kind of uh, see a little bit more of the title. So, yesterday I actually quite, I didn't really get much t uh, chance to play it yesterday because I was busy with the graphics comparison for Outlast, and I've been kind of looking at some reviews, other reviews other than my own of course, and, and doing a little bit of soul searching on the title. And here's the thing, graphically I think this game is absolutely amazing. I honestly feel it's one of the prettiest looking uh, titles out there. And I would actually agree that this isn't really a port. It's pretty damn impressive. Now there are some issues that I highlighted previously. One of the predominant things that bug me... Um, if I'm totally honest with ye, uh, one second, my mouse for some reason has been absolutely fine until now, and now it's gotten trapped behind my keyboard. There we go. So anyway, as I was saying, one of the issues that does bother me about this game, um, in terms of the graphics, is sometimes, and you'll especially notice this uh, in cutscenes and that type of thing, is the LOD. It just sometimes pops in, and it's can be a little bit jarring, I'm not going to lie. It, it can be a bit of a pain. Now, the actual co the actual controls are fairly tight. Um, and I don't really have any problems with them. But sometimes I find that it can be a little bit tricky, for example, going from ledge to ledge. My main issue, however, and a lot of that, to be honest, um, I don't really think is a huge deal. Because... I honestly feel that the controls, okay, they're a little bit sticky, particularly when you're trying to get down from a ledge. Sometimes he feels kind of like he's stuck, but I think that's kind of the part and parcel of it, and I feel that after a while, you'd probably um, get used to the controls, and so that's not really a uh, big deal. Here's the thing, though. The game, and this might sound a bit obvious, but it puts an awful lot of emphasis on the steering and so on. But for some people, it might kind of bore them. Now, personally, I actually quite like that element. It's cold out tonight. I actually quite like the, you know, sneaking into houses, stealing different objects, looking at, you know, basically, well, being a bit of a peeping Tom in actuality, you know, just kind of observing. Being a voyeur, I suppose, is more the, the technical phrase. But, but that said... I'm certainly not everyone, and I understand for some people, they might not exactly 100% appreciate that. Having said that, it's also a little bit similar in that regard to something like Dishonored. Well, I will say that this game and Dishonored do have some definite similarities, and I was kind of thinking about this previously. This game definitely, at least in my opinion, does look better than Dishonored. At least, uh, you know, uh, you've got to remember that Dishonored is an older game as well. And uh, that's not to say that Dishonored's an ugly game. I just feel this is slightly better looking, although Dishonored's slightly more artistic. And this is more a um, kind of serious looking art style to it. And it looks beautiful. As I said, why is that still stuck? That was a bit confusing. That was a bit an oddity in my opinion, considering I'd just already been through that window. In fact, I came in through that window more to the point. You see what I mean about how he kind of approaches down and then makes the jump? And I feel that is a bit odd. At least in my personal opinion. I'm not saying I dislike it, but it does feel a smidgen clunky. Now, acting in the game, voice acting, is fairly reasonable. Um, it's not going to set the world alight. I feel that it's pretty up there. It's maybe not up there, I say Tomb Raider, which I feel is definitely one of the stronger titles from Square. Um, but it's, it's pretty reasonable. However, I do have some apprehensions about the right... You see what I mean about the pop-in just there with the low level of detail? And, you know, for a high-end machine, I'd rather it take just a second longer to load rather than show that pop-in. It's, it's a little bit annoying, at least in my personal opinion. I see you still can't work a door. Amy, you don't write. 
I thought both you and Aaron had been... Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, we could buy different arrows. Uh, we've got 500 and odd in terms of monas. So we're definitely okay. There's definitely different tools and upgrades, which is pretty important. Now, lockpick quality. Um, so that increases lockpick sensitivity, greatly increases. Wrench, open grates and remove bolted blah. Uh, buy trinkets. Increases the benefits of eating food. See, a lot of that is great. But I don't really want to be getting hurt anyway, of course. Now, by resources, there's definitely water arrows, which I don't really... Um, I think we should probably buy a couple of those. F powder reacts. Let's buy one of those. Uh, can we purchase one? Okay, it's a pity. See, why can't you just double-click on that? That's a great example of something that's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, buy a couple of those as well. Blunt arrow. Okay. Flash bomb. A poppy. A rope arrow. Um, might as well purchase a couple of those. A choke arrow. Buy one of those. And buy a couple of those. Okay, I think that's pretty good. You know where to find me. So, there are a couple of strange like things that I have in regards to the controls as well. Hi, bro. On them, so they beat the tallow out of them. Well, he had it coming, and then they pitched him in a cart. He wasn't even dead. Well, that's like the weirdest thing I think I've seen in a while. Let's see. Uh, would you like to go to the market district? Sure, why not? Let's 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 uh, explore and cause some rampant chaos. Why not? Fortunately, you can just use the mouse wheel to switch. What I do wish is that it would actually tell you what one's which. So obviously, this is you know the fire arrow, but what I do wish is it would just pop up like in the bottom right hand corner and just say water arrow, fire arrow. I don't think that would be too much to ask for. Hi, bros. Okay. It's probably a quicker way around here, but screw it. I'm sure we're fine. They're friends, anyway. They're friends and buddies. We can actually run in this section, I think. Would be quite nice if you could double tap for a slide. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, eh? Some of these bloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure about the storyline to this game because. Honestly, I don't really know huge amounts of the original Thief storyline. Ah. See, now I kind of wish I'd have gotten that wrench tool. But the storyline... Okay, the setting is very different. Oh my god, that just looks beautiful. Look at that. The architecture is incredibly impressive. You can actually do like a mini zoom in. I don't know, really know how that works, but whatever. What evs? There's actually items we could douse as well. And you see it makes huge differences in the environment in terms of illumination. And all that is really impressive. It's it's kind of weird because graphically it's, it's extremely impressive. And yet these LOD issues are a pain in the butt. And I really wish they would resolve them. Perhaps there is an any tweak. Um, I'm going to definitely start looking into that. Because if it would be resolved with a simple tweak, that would be amazing. I'm actually curious because I'm going to be doing graphics comparisons versus the PS4. And... As we all know, the PlayStation 4 version is missing some of it's the nice. um, options. For example, some of the SSAA and that type of thing. 
Hi, Garrett. You walk a path few would wish. Hmm. It's the only one I know. Quite. Yeah. You know what they say about me? That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. I don't know how I feel about his actual aesthetic. Now, I'll tell you one of the issues I've got with his voice, and this is going to sound pretty damn harsh, but... Um, actually, press F1 to upgrade focus abilities. Donate gold to the Queen of Biggest to receive focus points. Use focus points to enhance your focus ability. Press F1. Okay. Uh, focus upgrades. Dexterity, intuition, speed, marksman, stealth. Uh, wow. Well, using focus. Sense, combat, speed. Slightly increase your actions during marksman combat. Uh, let's... Uh, sure. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely improvement. Okay. So, as I was saying, one of the issues is that it's kind of going for, like, this cool vibe. And for some reason, the main character does slightly remind me of Dante from the remake of Devil May Cry, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fortunately, on the PC as well, I will mention the loading times are pretty fast. Now, I have heard some really harsh reviews of this game. I've actually seen some reviews which are giving the game, like, threes and fours out of ten. And I don't necessarily know if it deserves such a low number. I feel one of the reasons that it is getting that is because the game is basically a reimagining of and that level of detail really annoys me i know i keep going on about that but considering the rest of the game just looks so beautiful it's it just it really just seems to just pop in and just ruins a lot of the aesthetic but i feel that giving the games three and fours out of ten is just unfair now obviously reviews are subjective and i don't really like to give numbers out of ten and i that i don't even really like to say to you guys you know this is a bad game or this is a great game because it's all subjective you know what i'm saying it's like i might like something you might hate something but i don't think this is i don't feel this is like a game that deserves like freeze and stuff out of 10 i don't i just i don't really understand um those type of numbers to be honest i feel that those numbers are not really fair um but at the same time like for example all right let's let's go try going back up here i'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do okay so, at the same time, I do feel that there definitely could be some room for improvement uh, on the title. That's, you know, that's fair enough and I understandable. Okay, I think we are actually supposed to go down here. How does one let go of the rope? Actually, sure how you get off this. I thought I'd love being in the watch, but better this than begging. All right. Okay. How the hell did you release a rope? Yeah. 
A, I have tried pressing A. Drop down X, maybe that. Ah. Thought I'd love being in the that was a bit of an interesting right. decision. Fine. I'm not 100% sure about that. I would rather have just be able to press E or something similar. I suppose it makes sense, but at the same time it does feel a little bit convoluted. Now one of the reasons I do feel that they've been getting such poor reviews um, is because this is basically a sequel to one of the most loved PC titles back in the ye, ye old days. And that's kind of an issue, because whenever you make a remake, it invariably is going to most likely never ever uh, reach the levels of love, if you will, that you feel it should, uh, well, ma uh, receive. And I don't necessarily know if that's 100% fair in this case. I mean, I feel that the game is definitely not the best game that I've ever played or anything like that, but there's nothing inherently wrong with it. And, hmm. Uh-oh. All right, we definitely you call that work. <laughs> Keep that friggin' dog quiet and wake me when shift's done, will you? How can you sleep in a place like this? With skill. And the general's here too, grinding his teeth and his frigging leg. Watch and learn. There's a crap Watch ton of light, learn. isn't there? about me bro Okay, we've got to be careful because there's a dog over there as well. It's cold out tonight. And be very, very quiet. We are hunting wabbits. And this is definitely the part of the game that, in my opinion, really just works with the... Uh-oh. Oh, 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 X. See, that is actually kind of cool. Like, those tense moments. Those moments of sneaking past. And I actually quite like that. I mean... I don't, I don't honestly know you know to call the game because I, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it and yet I seem to be in the minority. Missing wrenched bollocks. Now, I will say that, like, being able to miss certain items because you don't have certain objects, I don't necessarily know how I feel about that in games. There are quite a few that do that, particularly when there's a lot of secret items. See what I mean about, like, the level of detail? I know I keep going on about that ad nauseum, but it really is kind of jarring on this, considering the graphic settings that I've got everything set to. I think it kind of makes it worse. Um, and remember that my system is running this 100% fine. I mean, to give you an idea, I'm recording at 90 frames a second at 1080p, um, which is insanity. I mean, I could easily run this higher um, without too much difficulty, and that is with SSAA. So the game is optimized really well. I just feel that they could have done a slightly more um, with the level of detail settings, and I'm definitely going to stop messing about to see if there is a way of changing the inning. Aaron. So, I don't know about this. Sick. Well, I'm going to guess you're not exactly a healthy dude. Let's put it that way. Focus energy. Press gym to consume a poppy in grain game portions of focus energy. Okay. I can't jump over that, which is another thing I... Ah! 
You should just be able to spring over it, in my opinion. And that's the thing. Like, the control sets overall are very tight. It's just these little things that uh, somewhat bug me about it. And I feel that that's not necessarily against the game. But I feel... Uh, okay, that's just weird, going into a third person. I don't know if I like or dislike that. Hold E to repel. Well, we don't know to... Uh, it's kind of jarring going into a third person. I don't dislike it. But... It... Oh, shit, son. Here comes one more for the knacker's yard. The general will want this lot seen to before last bell. Look at this. How the hell did you not hear that? I wonder what he's got. Not out here, sloop for brains. We carted him gentle as we could. You are treating them with respect, aren't you? Respect? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, this feels like a Batman section. Well, I'm, here's the thing. I'll just be honest. The game has faults. Um, I've been doing research on it. The more I play it, checking it out, the game definitely has some issues. But I don't feel that giving the title like ones out of tens and that type of thing is fair at the same time. Bye. Cool. Mannequins. I came here looking for a body, but not this kind. Yes. Let them hit the floor. So far, I'm finding the game pretty easy, and I am on the pretty much the default difficulty setting. So it could also be another option to actually ramp up the difficulty setting a smidgen. Um, one of the reasons I did that, to be honest, was quite simple. I want to kind of show off the game, but I'm actually thinking that and maybe I went a bit too crazy with the difficulty setting and maybe should have turned up a hair as well. Off you go, you sorry bastard. Better you than me. Red Jenny's tears. And the next she wrote. <laughs> this wouldn't pass for respect in a slaughterhouse. Poor old Cornelius must already be on the line. Uh -oh. The best way to follow Cornelius is to put my life on the line. Uh oh. Done this before, then. Let's go green on their first day. I don't honestly know how he did not see me. They don't come back. Used to dump bodies over the city wall. So the stinking disease was worse than the room itself. A hundred crows to every man there was. And the fly. Oh, yeah. I'm actually gonna have to burn this guy. I'm sorry. It's got to be done. I feel that I feel that his life would be improved with a fire arrow. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, let's just try and get ourselves in some trouble to see what happens, shall we? Guards are pretty dumb, I've got to say. I bet he's watching me right now. I'm quite sure what's going on there. Other than the fact that it sounds like he's having basically forced sex. Stay sharp. That's ironic like, considering I just stabbed him repeatedly. I've, something to show you. I've got something to show you, bro. Where you? Oh. Let me fr you know what? There. Where are you? Come here. Come on. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just throw him so, over here. You're a thief. You know what, bro? So, 
I'm not really feeling the combat, I've got to say. Alright, let's see. Yay! I don't necessarily know if this is a good thing. I wonder if a building can be condemned twice. I watch making a good case for it here. Hmm. As I said, my decision is pretty much based and probably not going to change from now, to be honest. Storyline and writing, I feel like are okay so far. Just They're like not. Shooting deer back the estate. Yeah, dear. Time to get off. I prefer being a Um, hello. Oh. You stop right there. Lost them. Shit. Well, you just give up in like half a second for that, don't you, bro? I'll find the friggin' bastard. Later, I will find you. What? No escape this time, Blacken. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's not ideal. You've got nowhere to go. Let's just try and play around a little bit with the guards and see what happens, that shall we? Right here. I promise you, I will seek you out. Show yourself a make huh? That's it. Oh shit. I've had enough of you. Damn it, he's right here. I look everywhere. You won't escape. Sooner or later I will find you. Bye. Uh shit. Can't see it. Yes. When I find you, you're dead. Huh? You won't get away. Hey. Anyway, bro, whatever. Ow. Bye-bye. Let's just close the door on that guy. There we go. Oh, balls. I thought it'd actually be fucked off. Oh, balls. Shouldn't you be choking or something similar? what happens here spark done guy was annoying all right so now we're actually playing a little bit properly we can actually look around and just get an inkling of what's going on yeah by our ninja. Mm, definitely hear some dude behind the store, which is not ideal. 
but I don't see anyone inside the room. Hmm. So I have to say, it's a bit weird. For example, to look into the keyhole, it's E. You have to hold the button, which is the same to open the door. But strangely, to stop looking into it, you'd think it would be E again. But no, it's actually you have to right click, which is... I'm not saying it's a bad design decision, but it is a little strange. Okay, so we don't want to get caught with that crap. I'm really... I have to confess, there are a couple of issues that grab me on this game. The first issue is that I'm not exactly sold on the whole stealing every single bloody item in the world. At the same time... There you are. Oh, are you still pining for the abattoir? Come on. I heard something, I think. I heard this you. is not the night to screw with me! Could have sworn I heard something. Hmm. Huh? Hey. Taken more than a hundred dead each day this I'll last I'll find week. the frigate for us. Loons crushed more shit on this. Watch. I have no idea what's going to happen here. And starting to drop down too. General will be... Uh-oh. I'm you fucked. Surrender! Latest. Was fee to dodge melee. Nah, man, I'm gone. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, that's a bit mean. I've got you won't get away. Seems like I'm getting away. Ow. Oh, balls. How are you supposed to get up that? Can we jump on this guy? No. Can we jump onto this? Yeah, we can jump onto this. Sweet. Bye bye then. Cool. Would be kind of epic if you could actually shoot them from long range. Apparently we just have to keep going round and round and round. Doo -doo -doo. So anyway guys, um I like the game, it just has some issues. I'm gonna be blunt. It has some issues. The controls are a little bit awkward at times. Not exactly sure how I feel about the storyline, but gameplay for the most part is fairly solid. I do like the sneaking aspect, although I do feel that you're probably going to want to play the game at a slightly higher setting. Because definitely the guards are far too easy on the difficulty setting that I am currently on. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind the game at all. I quite like it, and I would recommend if you're interested in a sneak type of title, for example, if you're interested in Dishonored, to go for it, because it's not like you've got a billion different options anyway. But I think it's going to probably be disappointing more for those who are lovers of the original game. On the other hand, I don't think it deserves the freeze out of 10s it's been getting, because I don't think that's uh, fair either. So I, I like the game. I would recommend that you pick it up if you're interested in these type of games. Just, you know, be warned that it does have a few issues here and there, but then at the same time, kind of what the game doesn't. For example, one thing that bugs me, why can't I jump up this platform? I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, but I can get up this one. I understand that, but he can't pull himself up there. He is a thief. Why can't he do that? I'm not quite sure. And these are like the little 
kind of gameplay nuances that I'm talking about that Still, do bug me. Didn't see many bodies with rings until then. So anyway, as I said, hey, it's not that it's a deal breaker. It's for, just um, something that you have to somewhat bear you know, in mind in the game. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hopefully, it's you've enjoyed the video for, and maybe made your you decision know, based upon it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye no, for now. No.